This is the Putnam Street grade crossing located on the Iowa Interstate Blau and Sub in Peru, Illinois. Here you have one old and one newer signal. Uh, each signal has incandescent lights and there's one e-bell. This is nobody looking south. You look here at the northern signal. Starting off at the top here, we got a GS Type 2 e-bell. Uh, this signal is an older Rock Island era WRS signal, the last one in Peru. Lights, we got 12 by 24 inch stage train incandescents. These were installed by CSX in the 90s. Here's the dot tag, dot number 603828U. Got a single sided WRS base. Side view lights with a Satran junction box. We still got the original WRS gate mechanism on here. Again, this is the last one in LaSalle, Peru. Back view lights. This gate is very old. It's a fiberglass one with the old striping and four inch Rico gate lights. I think they're all LED. Here's a back view of the northern signal. Come over here and get the uh, southern signal real quick before I talk about the rest of the crossing. Here's an overview looking north now. Get a look here at the southern signal. This one's a newer signal that was installed probably in the early 2000s by CSX. Lights again, we got 12 by 24 inch state train incandescence. Um, I'm not sure if these are original to this signal or if these came off the WRS signal that this one replaced. Here's the dot tag again. Got a single sided state train base. Got a state train 2000s gate mechanism. Side view lights of the state train junction box. Back view the lights. And this gate has the newer striping with four inch Rico LEDs. And then both of these gates have just standard gate mounts, no gate savers on them. And back view of the southern signal. So originally this, these signals were installed in the Rock Island days, at least this one was. And then whatever signal was on this side was likely the same as the northern one. Uh, the GS Type 2 was installed by CSX more than likely uh, during the 2000s replacing either a WRS or an RRS mechanical bell. The lights would have originally been probably eight inch cast iron WRS incandescents. And then real quick here, uh, here's the relay case in the Northwest Quadrant. And the grade is all wood. The track you're facing west towards Depew, Bureau, uh, Mineral, and eventually the Quad Cities. And track you're facing east into LaSalle and towards the CSX connection at Utica. And again, this, this signal here was installed in the 2000s, I believe, early 2000s, or possibly the late 90s, and replaced the WR signal. Um, but now both of these signals will be replaced very soon. Uh, you can see there's a ton of markings around here. And then you can see one little piece of conduit sticking up here. Oh, right there. Um, I want to say is in the process of replacing every single every single crossing through LaSalle, Peru. Uh, right now they've finished five out of the seven. Um, all the ones going east of here have brand new WCH signals, including Pine Street, which already had newer WCH signals at it. That's going to be an interesting crossing through history video when I get around to that. Um, right now it's just this and uh, Pike Street down there that still have older signals at them. And again, this one's the last WRS signal in LaSalle, Peru. And obviously it's not long for the world. <laughs> and best thing about these new installs that Iowa State's putting in is they all have mechanical bells on them. They all have brand new third generation WCH mechanical bells. So before we were down to just two M bells remaining through LaSalle, Peru. Now we're back up to five again. And pretty soon it's gonna be all seven. Uh, this one and Pike Street both have GS Type 2 e-bells, so it's going to be awesome to see this get replaced by a mechanical bell again. Definitely surprised me when I first saw videos of the new signals here. There was a video I saw from November 
um, of the CN geometry car going through here. And it showed the ones down in LaSalle with new signals and mechanical bells. Like, whoa, this is going to be good. So, not sure how much longer it's going to take until they get to this crossing, but given the work that they've been doing already through here, um, probably won't be too much longer. This is the only one that still doesn't have a new bungalow yet. Uh, Pike Street to the west has a new bungalow, uh, plus the new signals are sitting off to the side. I don't know if you can see them from here, but they're... Yeah, you can see them right there. They're sitting off to the side there. And you can see Pike Street down there and the new bungalow. Uh, I'll do a tour video of that here in a bit. But yeah, anyways, this will be another death of a Rock Islander install, so... If you still have a chance, get this filmed, although probably by the time I get this video up, it'll already be replaced. So, anyways, this has been the Putnam Street Grade Crossing. Rest in peace, Rock Island and CSX Signals.